Uh, so don't we have like a f full fucking bag of holding worth of food? I don't know. I, uh, I mean, that. you guys might have done something like that, but I have a ring of sustenance, so I was like, I'm gonna fuck. We we did that. <laughs> so well, I mean, we have yeah, that's create food and water. I think would do it. Yeah, create food and water would do it as well. You could create a bunch of grain and just be like, here you go, Mr. R. Do do I actually have that? I don't uh, know. I it might be on your spell list, but oh. I'm prepared. But you do have Goodberry, which might work. No. Actually, it's surprisingly enough, create food and water is not on the cleric cleric spell list. It's on the cleric list. list. Yeah. Or druid. I mean, it's it's only on cleric yeah. oracle slash and, uh, and cleric oracle and shaman. Could you get the um? Family subdomain is community part of the druid, like one of the druid domains no. you can take instead of animal companion. I didn't think so. I mean, you can always ask the GM about that, but it's not by standard. What was the list of domains? It was like, whatever. Oh, this, this is pointless. Uh, yep. Yeah, so yeah, I'll relay that. Like, well, maybe that's what it wants to eat. So <laughs> there we go. I yeah, know we got that experience. we have a whole uh, Ooh, a bag of experience. holding full of food. I think yeah. Abysm has it, or Henry. The has encounter it or could something. have gone sour if you didn't have those amulets displaying. And disguises. Yeah. Well, probably not. Uh, we probably just needed just the amulets. amulets. These guys probably <laughs> wouldn't have recognized us. I don't think. They maybe they would have, but. I don't think there's like one of them's holding a, a magazine about locks. You <laughs> killed our yeah, fourth there we go. See what I mean? He's got the he's removed. got the quarterly locksmith monthly. <laughs> That's Nizza. He'd be like, "Holy shit, you're on the, you're in this issue of the quarterly locksmith monthly." <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, we go inside the city now, right? Um, okay, yeah. so... This elevated causeway is 75 feet wide and runs a 100 feet off the ground in places. The elevation is not immediately obvious, though as huge buildings and towering structures constructed along the road's entire length give the illusion that the causeway remains at the ground level. Um, the... Golden Road remains sound, though here and there stretches up to 200 feet in length have collapsed into rubble. And so I'm going to reveal the next step of our map here. On a side note, okay. uh, imagining Nizzo as a vigilante was like a fun experiment I was doing a while back. I think I think Nizzo would be kind of, could could potentially have been like you have like his locksmith as like the social persona and then you have like but at night he turns into this badass. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be cool. Can I get? But, yeah, I I like I like how he is right now, but a percentage. A percentage. Okay. I will take a passive perception. Let's see what happens. Okay. Perhaps this never really came to your guys' attention until now, but everybody except for Abysm apparently looked up. Hey. 
<laughs> and periodically in the skies, you see what might be young, smaller dragons flying every once in a while. Oh, neat. You don't really see any real big ones or whatnot, but you do see every once in a while little small, smaller ones of variant colors, but mostly white or blue. Yeah, no metallic dragons, unfortunately. They're all chromatic. Yeah. I'm just going to start appraising everybody we come across. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to move your token out here, I guess, because you guys perhaps came out here. Bunch yeah. of buildings. You don't really see... You know, like, you know, when you walk into a city and you see people walking down the roads and stuff, you don't, you're not seeing any of that. It looks well, since this empty. is the city, maybe we should find out where there's like an inn or something that we could set up in, and maybe <laughs> that'll lead us to these, uh, you know, this there might mysterious be. group that could help us. Wherever there's a large gathering well, of people, there's always somewhere where people gather to drink, right? Right. Let's ask the bird people before we leave. Just as we're exiting the gate. We already left. <laughs> We already left. We're, aren't we still near the south or the north gates of their compound? Well, it's assumed that you guys left. I mean, yeah, we could stepped out. We could run back, I guess. But okay, well, that's fine. We can do exploring ourselves. <laughs> I mean, we probably could find other people to ask. Like, hey, where's a good drinking hole around here? I'm new in town. Yeah. So how do you get down off the causeway? Uh, you just are there like or... little ramps and stuff? Uh, you just walk. Okay. It's an illusion that it seems like it just kind of ends, but it, when you get there, it's you, it's just more of it. <laughs> but you said you said that right around this area, at least, is pretty empty. You don't see anybody walking down the streets. You don't see anything. Hmm. You you look. It looks like an empty okay. city, partially consumed by this frozen ancient lava. To the right, that's what that stuff is to the right. I guess let's continue inward? Yep. Yep. So. Yeah, let, let's keep going. Can we get over here and see if I see people or. Um, Some, the, the businesses uh, and stuff. You know that it might dif be difficult to do, but you could probably just try to go around it. <laughs> and this one's kind of touching apartment. part of the building and not exactly consuming it, but you know that you can't just continue following the road. I guess we'll have to go off the road. Alright, so you guys will approach a situation. Yes? Alright, give me a second, let me review. A situation, you said? There's a big courtyard here. Maybe a market square? Uh, this section of the ruined city has been cleared of rubble, leaving a roughly circular courtyard about a quarter mile in diameter. Many oversized tents and crude shelters have been erected in the clearing, turning it into a, or turning into what looks like giant-sized refugee camp and you do indeed uh, see a large amount of giants <laughs> all settled 
within this camp. Um, none of them spot you or is, you know, making any, there's no alarms going off or anything like that. You're just at the edge of this camp. No, oh, probably people come and go here all the time. It's a refugee camp kind of set up here. Or a beer garden. So I'm pretty sure it's Maybe we should check this place out and see what we can find out from these giants. Amara does look like a giant after all. Uh, that's about as much giant as I can speak. Well, I'm sure they speak something other than giant. Might Perhaps they know the common tongue. Or Thessalonian, yeah. I'll just pretend to be your minion. Uh, I, I suppose. That can't speak. Strange. All right. Well, um, I mean, if everybody else is okay with it, I would like to go and uh, talk to these giants. Okay. Oh yeah, I fully support that idea. Okay, you walk into the camp. Yeah. And I I hail like the nearest giant and I I ask them exactly. if they would uh I ask them if they could tell me more about the city, specifically where we might find uh an inn or a bar. A language using some place to stay. Um, I lost audio. Give me a second. Figure that out. You lost audio. Let's try this again. <laughs> so Henrik's just walking up and talk straight up, just talking to a giant, being like, "Hey, yeah. where's a bar?" I don't know what language he's talking in, but. I'll try Thessalonian first to see if they understand Thessalonian. Okay, so um, you guys, you know, you walk into the camp and there's just like a buttload of tents and um, whatnot. Like this map doesn't even do this space justice. Um, it's a huge space with a huge amount of tents and a large quantity of giants. Perhaps you don't notice right away, but over time spending in this camp, which I promise you, you will, you probably will count up to maybe 500 giants, give or take. Um, it appears that there's a number of those cloud giants that you guys have seen. Not very many frost giants, but there are some of them. They're quite a bit smaller, so they don't stand out nearly as much. But you do notice um, a large amount of rune giants. Because rune giants? They the heck are tower they? over all these other rune giants. Slave giants. Yeah, we fought a bunch of those before. Yes. Yep. We did? That's yeah, what they make inside the big pot? Yeah, that cauldron that, like, made, made rune slave giants as well, that we, like, didn't... Oh. Be... We were like, hmm, we found a method for destroying this thing, but it's really convoluted, so let's just seal it up. And just leave it there. And among them, there are hill giants and stone giants. But it's very clear that these rune giants are... Um, you can't say that these guys are slaves. Nobody's really slaves, but it seems like the rune giants hold a status over all other giants. Yeah, like the other ones are being, like, looking away at them in deference or whatever, you know? Like, <laughs> I, I, I can picture that. Mm -hmm. Um...
Yeah, I guess. Uh, so does any like Henrik? Henrik wants to ask one of them where a bar or tavern is or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Beer garden. <laughs> and it's only giants. Like we don't see, we don't see any other things here. In this encampment, no, not at this time. You don't see anything else. Okay. Uh, perhaps you look up to the sky, and every like once in a while, you somewhere. see like a weird winged flying creature, but it's usually too brief to identify. Oh, those weird vulture people. Perhaps, among other things. Who knows? Nizzo perhaps would wonder. Alright, so how would you guys like to approach now that you know that? I'm, I'm approaching, uh, I, you know, just as I guess I said I was. Looking for one of the outlying giants. Uh, preferably not a hill giant. They're not too smart. Maybe like a cloud giant or something. Okay. What do you do? What and do you asking see? them if they know the layout of the city. I greet them and I ask them if they know the lay of the city. That we're... Uh, we just recently arrived, and I'd like to know if uh, there are any inns or bars that we could go to. Okay. This cloud giant looks down at you, and uh, you're a medium right now, right? Your disguise and everything? Yeah, I just look like a okay. different human. He looks down at you and says, You're so tiny. At the moment, yes. That's hurtful. <laughs> hey, I ain't tiny. You're just really gigantic. You have lots of questions. Why so many questions? Well, we just arrived here. And I don't know that much about Zin Shalast other than uh, some of its history. They're speaking in Thessalonian, right? I'm assuming you are, because... Yeah, I'm yeah. seeing a Thessalonian. Okay. okay, um, this cloud giant responds and says, They've lived here my whole life. <laughs> you think there you are inns? Oh. What about beer gardens? Do, do you say that? Yeah, what about like a beer garden? <laughs> The cloud giant looks at you and says, surely, what's yeah. beer garden? And <laughs> Nizzo just like sighs like, ugh. I didn't realize life was so, so bleak here. Is Nizzo his normal size? <laughs> yeah, Nizzo's even tinier than Henry. <laughs> this cloud giant's <laughs> like, like gnome staring down at you, towering over you like... He's Even like squinting, probably smaller. like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you here? We've come to see Karzog and his rumored rise. Ah, yes, I think that's what everybody's here for. Where is everybody? We are the only. Here. You're the only denizens we've seen so far. Deeper into city. Probably. Hmm. Why, are, why, why are all you giants just out here by yourselves? Working. We just finished long day work. Resting now. Oh, are you employed by... What do you guys do for uh, merriment around here anyway, if you, don't, if you don't drink alcohol? What is alcohol? Well, it's a it's a thing you drink, but but what do you guys do? What do you guys do when you're on your time off? Rest, bicker. But I mean, but I mean, surely you must have some sort of diversion. 
<laughs> this this cloud giant looks so confused. Like, and and you don't even really need sense motive to determine this. It seems like this cloud giant doesn't understand any of this like civilized yeah. stuff. <laughs> like, what are you doing right now? Rest. They're just resting. Walking around. Do you guys like gather around campfires and tell stories? Mm. No, not anymore. Long time ago, before all others started arriving. Hmm. Well, I think you should you should try doing it again. You should try gathering up uh, gather up some of your friends, you know, some of the some of the other giants that you uh, that you enjoy talking to, and uh, you guys should you guys should share stories with each other. be a good time to a good way to pass the time you're a funny one little one oh I've, I've been told told that before i suppose well just between me and you i i i i, I like you enough to tell you this but don't be going around talking like that to the others, especially those ones over there. And he points over to, like, a rune giant. Yeah. Some are rather suspicious. And some are very, very mean. Well, we'll definitely be careful then. Hmm, I see. <laughs> what are you building? We're not. Uh, what what are you working on? Depends. Who's in charge here? Karzog, Probably the rune giant. Well, yeah, Karzog, ultimately. I know that, but under him. I'd, I'd say those rune giants. Um... To answer Abysm's question, uh, he says, We're slowly expanding our explorations into the surrounding mountains. And some of us were sent down to recruit more. Some of you perhaps go down towards uh, uh, what's the name of that place? Uh, the Black Fortress, <laughs> or what it was called, Meander. Jorgenfist. Something. Jorgenfist. So you go to uh, Jorgenfist. As you guys are talking, a pair of um, rune giants. Are approaching as if they're gonna walk by. Mm -hmm. Anything you guys want to do? Uh, I'll kind of maybe trail off my words and get you know much quieter and kind of act like I'm not talking. I'm just standing around. Maybe they won't get notice out of us. their way if I'm anywhere <laughs> close to it. Right. If it looks like we're in their path, I'll walk out, move out of their way. I guess does it look like they're walking towards us specifically, or are they just walking past? Can I tell? No, it looks like they're just doing like a, a, you know, walking about the encampment, 
and they just happen yeah, to be passing by you guys, but you notice it's okay. they're gonna like, you know, see you as they pass by, kind of thing. In which they do. They walk right on past, but one of them does cock its head over down at you guys and sees all of you. And it looks like he's gonna like pause for a moment, but whatever the other giant is currently talking about seems to draw his attention and he starts responding to that giant. And what are they talking about? It's something like he's talking about tomorrow. I want you to send blah, 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 blah to the north ends of those caverns that we uh, discovered. And I will make sure that and then they're out of your. um, Right. They're just talking about work, it sounds like. Yeah. Freaking giants. I want to hear some giant gossip. Do you know what you're looking for in the caves? What are you exploring? I asked the giant that's in front of us. The friendly giant. The giant responds, looking down at you, and says, Just exploring. Not really looking for anything. Have you found anything interesting? Mountain, very vast. Easy to get lost in. Occasionally run into weird creatures, never seen before. Hmm. Well, Henrik is thinking that if the rune giants want something in that cave, that it must be important. Which means that we should probably go in there looking for it, too, before they find it. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Like, Karzog is looking for something, which has me curious as well. Yeah. Unless, Unless he's trapped... Like, wherever he is was buried in these rubble, and he needs the giants to uncover him before he can actually return. But that's Maybe. pure speculation. Hmm. All right. Well, um, I asked the giant for if he can tell me the directions to this cave. Cave? Tunnels? Everywhere. Yes. Well, give me give me one entrance to them. You probably just got a point somewhere. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> he'll do that. He'll he'll point in a in a direction. And its direction is really irrelevant right now, but um, when that comes up, I suppose okay. we'll approach it. <laughs> it's over that way. Yes. <laughs> Make a note of it. Alright, um, I tell the others, um, I, don't, I, I guess I'm a little bit of a... I, I just tell them, well, I'm ready to move on, or the rest of you. He says, what do you plan to do? You know, the other giants won't be too friendly if you just run into them. I would, we're sure they won't. The the ones that greeted us at the uh, entrance to the city weren't that friendly either until um, we defeated one or two of them and presented uh, these Sahedrin medallions to them. What, what do you think you're gonna do? Are you helping Karzog, or are are you? We just not... want to see him. This giant's like kind of trying to like sense your motive. Um, We're here to witness his glorious return. Go ahead. We've been called to this place. Yeah, go ahead and give me a 
bluffs for your bluffs and diplomacies for your truth. <laughs> Damn, I'm rolling so uh, low. I'm, I'm, I'm assisting... I have three points of charisma damage? Where'd that come from? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. That might have been healed by now, from whenever, because depending on how long ago that was. Perhaps. I, I tell the giant um, that we're we're simply here to see Karzog. I ask him. I ask the giant, male or female, I don't care, um, if you are if you are um, uh, like in favor of Karzog or not. Giant's like looking at all of you guys, and you know he sees Abyssum, and he's taking note of Nisso, and hearing out Henrik, and you just <laughs> kind of see this like shift in its face as it says, "I lived here my whole life. Five years ago, things started changing, and people started appearing, preaching." This Karzog. My ancestors spoke of this Karzog in the past, and from what I heard, it wasn't very good stuff. Honestly, I don't really want to be here. But there's this tattooed stone giant named Gai or Gaikak. And he's been secretly Gai talking. Got it. <laughs> He's been secretly talking to some of the other giants, forming a rebellion and plans to escape. I'm thinking about going. I uh, I lean in close to the giant, or I, I bend his or her ear closer to the ground where they can hear me, and uh, I I tell them <laughs> like you motion for him to lean down, to him, pick you yeah. up. <laughs> in a hushed uh, manner. Wait, do I have message prepared? No, I don't. I was thinking about message too. <laughs> do you want me to pick you up? No. No, no. He's gonna. He's gonna. Um. He's gonna do like this thing, like kind of with his hand, like motioning for them, the guy to lean down. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I want the giant to lean yeah, down. Yeah. So then the, the giant maybe. So, like, so that I can he, whisper something it. to it. And I, I tell the giant that um. I think you should consider your options for escape and rebellion. We may seek this uh, this stone giant out. Yeah, although we've can't. come to see Karzog, uh, although we've come to see Karzog, we don't intend on letting him rise. I trust that you'll keep this confidential. He like looks over at Nizzo. <laughs> that read one? Service thoughts. <laughs> that one's gonna uh... stop Karzog, and he like chuckles. Well, I'll I have tell you, know, you that it's my job to stop people from doing thing from going places they want and doing things they want to do. Nizzo. Especially things that they're not supposed to do. You think he's never seen such a being so small. <laughs> With such confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's Nizzo will basically allude to himself being a locksmith and be like, Oh yeah, it's, that's my job, is to stop people from going places they, they want to go and doing things they want to do when they're not supposed to. <laughs> Um, the cloud giant says, okay, okay, I won't tell anybody. Here, here, it's that guy over there. And he, like, points out the particular stone giant that has tattoos. Okay. Okay. 
Well, good to know. Thank you. Hmm. Well, I think if you want to continue here, we should do so with uh the Mattel with a lot name, of stealth here. I'm gonna ask this this guy what his name is that's been talking to us. Oh, oh, you want to know my name? Nobody ever asks me what my name is. My name's Randy. <laughs> Randy. Randy the Giant. I like it. Randy. I'm debating if Nizza wants to give his his actual name or not, or if he's going to give him like a pseudonym. Um... I think he'll just give him like his name is in like, he'll just give him, he'll just say like, like my name's Locksmith. He's just going to give him his profession instead, but because he doesn't want you know, a rumor going around, but someone doesn't want, like, hey, Nizzo's here, and because, you know, they might be like, hey, wait a minute. He says, I uh, know that guy. oh, okay, locksmith, and you can tell, like, he doesn't know what a locksmith is, so. Right, like, Nizzo is kind of banking your actual on that. Name. Yeah. Ra'on and D. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, you pronounce it Ra'on and D. No, Ron D. if you say it back to him, he'll say Randy. He'll correct you. <laughs> okay, Randy. What do you think, Randy? Well, well I, tell I tell the others that if we're gonna, yeah, definitely this guy should be careful. I tell him that uh, things could get uh, dangerous around here, um, more so than they already probably are. Just, uh, just watch out for yourself and, and watch out for people you care about. Uh, he nods and says, yeah, I will be careful. Just, just let me know how it goes with, uh, with him if you go, if you help the rebellion. Oh, I'm saying that too loud. I, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, <laughs> careful. All right. So yeah, let's let's go talk to that guy. Uh, Gayak, Gayuk, whatever. Gayuk, Gayukak, Gayukak, Gayukak. I don't know. Um, that's how it looks to me, but. I don't know. Well, RYU is Ryu, yeah. right? Yuck so kick. maybe it's Giyukek. Maybe. Gyu -kek. Maybe. Well, I say that we should be... We've already got the attention of one of those rune giant patrols. I think we should exercise caution and maybe use some uh, magical invisibility here. Um, well... If that is our plan. I tell the others that I have an invisibility sphere prepared. Um, thank you, Randy, for your help. And I hope that everything's going to turn out for you. And we'll see about helping you get free. We felt lucky that we randomly happened to talk to somebody that was actually helpful. <laughs> Although, actually, I imagine we probably tried talking to a few people that just ignored us before this guy was, like, willing to talk to us. Maybe. That is possible. Um, you guys avoided, like, the hill giants, which are just really dumb, so that's good. And you right. were more specific about who also... you spoke to, and... Yeah, I wanted right, to talk were... to a cloud giant. Client... Cloud giants are, like, pretty intelligent, and they're also, like, musicians and, and civilized. whimsical and civilized. Right. And... Yeah, so... Yeah, they're not... And they're not all evil. There's... They... They're... Their alignments actually range from uh, all the way. Like you can actually have mm -hmm. lawful good cloud giants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I tell well, them that get, like, I may not be able to get Amara in this, but that could work to our advantage here. Well, Amara will fit okay. in here and is much better than us anyway, though. Yeah, because she's disguised as a cloud giant. 
Right. So, so she can uh, I guess you walk around. I'll walk over to that guy. When y'all are ready. Alright, I'm gonna cast Invisibility Sphere. Um, we're just gonna... That'll help. We Plus we'll be falling like, behind Amara, so that'll stop us hopefully from getting like trampled on accident or something. <laughs> what is Vale doing for you guys? It's making us look different than how we normally look. Okay, and then um, disguise. none of you guys have any kind of special visions other than the typical low light, dark. I have low light vision. But nothing beyond that. No, not like arcane sight I or true sight of the moment. I dark vision okay. as an elemental. I'm just used to the other group. It's just, yeah. <laughs> they see all, all, all the time. Yeah. But yeah, um, I get myself, I get Abysm, uh, and Nizzo, maybe probably Leopold and even Diana in the Invisibility Sphere, but Amara's like already 15 feet, and this is only a 10-foot emanation. Okay. But it's good that if she's the only one that's outside, because she looks like a giant. Okay, alright. Yep. And just make sure you specify what language you start speaking in, and... Uh... You will... I, I tell Amara to go strike up a conversation with that stone giant. Yes, and the stone giant is with another s giant. It's just a frost giant. Um, so they're engaged in a conversation. I'm going to try to see if I can listen in and hear what they're talking about, and maybe... Sure, I'm actually going to try to eavesdrop them first He's if my... I can even understand what they're saying, because it might even just be in giant. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I speak giant either. If it's in giant. Okay. Um, you don't really get a full conversation, um, because the frost giant will actually break away from him after you hear this. But uh, at the end, tail end of this conversation, he's, the frost giant saying to the stone giant, Oh yeah, and Ted joined too. Okay, I'm going back out. <laughs> it's like a roll call. I'm taking stock of who's, who's, who's in. <laughs> so they were speaking Thessalonian? Yes, Thessalonian. Okay, I'll... Uh... I'll go greet this guy in Thessaloni. Okay, uh, he looks at you, and you're larger than him, so he's kind of looking up at ya. And I'll say, uh... Wait, are stone giants huge, or just large? They're large. They're just large, no, they're just large yeah, so yeah, a cloud giant would be bigger. I went in. <laughs> he looks you up and down and he's like, into what? Randy told me to talk to you if I went in. I went in. Randy. Randy. Who's Randy? I'll, I'll uh, say another one of my kind. I I try to whisper to Amara and tell her that, uh, say that you're unhappy with what's going on right now. I don't like what they've you... done to our culture. And shh, not so loud. <laughs> oh, okay. He's all like monotone clown giant. I like what. <laughs> yeah, so you're tr you're whispering Hello there, to my somebody fellow giant. You're whispering to somebody who's fifteen like, feet away. Yeah, yeah. How do you do, fellow giants? <laughs> uh, okay. You see him start to stare at your Sahedrin medallion. He doesn't really respond to what you say. He's just kind of looking at it and then Is returns to one, make by the way? eye contact with you. Well, last Is that you guy guys not wearing a Sahedrin? 
Oh, um... No, I was asking, I was looking about the other guy. Is he not wearing one? Uh, Nizzo, go ahead and roll a perception. You're not, like, super close, because I know you guys are in an invisible square, kind of, you know, just to the law. Right, the uh... There, this is what Amara so is doing right now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. All right, um, Nizzo, you don't see an amulet, but your eyes move to a ring. You see that he has a ring that seems okay. to have the Sahedrin medallion symbol on it. Got it, okay. It doesn't always have to necessarily be an amulet, but he does have it, okay. So I was just making sure, because I'd be like, oh, what if, it, if he doesn't have one? It's not something that actually was required. But, yeah. But, Amara, you don't really get a response. He just, you know, he slowly stares at the medallion for a while. It's a good while to where he knows you know that he's looking at it. And then his eyes slowly shift back up to yours as he stares at you in silence. I'll stare at him back. <laughs> okay, well, it'll be a stare-off. Let me know what you'd like to do when you'd like to do it. I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm sure something will happen eventually. But we can't wait that <laughs> like, long. This spell doesn't last that long. concentration checks or <laughs> something. Or like eventually we just, yeah, the thing grinds out. He's like, wait a minute, what are those, what are those things behind you? They aren't contagious, are they? <laughs> I don't want to catch gnomes. <laughs> They're notoriously hard to get rid of. Does it look like Amara's gonna do anything? Oh, I might have to. Henrik, I make kind of like a a like face palming, like toward the giant's direction. We can't see each other because well, you're none invisible. of us have I see can invisible. actually see you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know. What's the saying? You like look back at the empty space behind you, like. Mm. Psst, psst. Like you cock. What? I'm trying, trying to get to the giant's attention in. for my invisibility. Oops. Gee. How'd that get there? Pretend you're an owl. <laughs> um. He I don't know. Here's this. Psst, psst, and then his name and his eyes like shift over to where he thinks but now his like face is all confused because he's like wait what, what's that sound i don't say anything what the heck what's going on i i say oh, i you. told you that i'm a skilled ventriloquist mm. <laughs> <laughs> are these are this a useful uh this is a useful talent to have right you need this <laughs> I, I say, uh, we are friends, not enemies. The Sahedrin is simply a disguise. Please talk to this giant, this cloud giant, about um, options for escaping your bond. What the voice said. He, like, lets out a deep sigh, looks back at Amara's amulet, gets up, and just starts walking away. Son of a bitch. Well, follow him. Maybe that's what he wants us to do anyway. Like, he might need to talk to us yeah. somewhere quieter. Like, we're surrounded yeah. by a bunch of other giants and shit that he probably doesn't want overhearing. Let's go, let's follow him discreetly. Uh, we're invisible. That's by definition discreet. Well, I mean it's Amara. Discreet. Yeah, I poke Amara if Amara doesn't immediately start following. 
Maybe Mar should stay behind. I don't know. Maybe we can follow him discreetly. Anyway, the invisibility sphere. I I, I tell everybody in the invisibility sphere to start following him. Yeah. Okay. We'll start following. If Amara, if Amara is, whether you want to follow or not is up to you. I'll everybody follow... grab on to Henrik's right. robe so you know where he's going. Because you can't say it. Everybody hold hands. I'll follow from afar. Yeah, I follow this giant. Okay. You follow him to another place in the encampment, and he, like, you know, sits down and starts resting. And this spot doesn't look any more secluded than the other one. Dang it. He just doesn't want to talk to us. Maybe he'll talk to us in the invisibility sphere. I don't know. <laughs> I I just try to get his attention again. Him with the invisibility sphere. Yeah, well, it Where won't affect him. It only affects everything that's in the initial cast. Oh, okay. I whisper like, Psst, like Gyukok, can we talk? He doesn't even, like, look in the direction of the voice, and he says in Thessalonian, I don't know what game you are playing at, but you will not catch me in it. Shit, we have to, like, convince this guy that we're... that we're good people. Um, I... I tell him that, uh... We are not, uh, we're not trying to incriminate you. We are outsiders of this city, and we were here to see Karzog, but to stop his rise. I know it's hard to believe, but, uh, you have to trust us, and if there's something we can do to convince you, then let us know. I am not a fool. If any of that was true, you wouldn't dare wear that amulet. I say that it was a... Uh, that this these amulets were simply a way to get us into the city without arousing any suspicion. And I know it must look dubious to you. You should free yourself if... from it. Oh, tell him that these aren't real. He might think that we're like under some sort of magical compulsion because we're. Oh, wearing... right. Yeah. Um, I I tell him that. Uh, well, um, I ask. Uh, let's see. Nizzo's good at being quiet and stealthy, or maybe I should just do it. I um I I tell him that I fabricated these amulets. They possess no magical qualities. They're just replicas. Yeah. And I say if if you want to see one up close, I'll I'll let you look at it. It bears small imperfections. He says, very well then, meet me over there at that tent. Okay. Um, we'll go. But I will smash you if you are lying. I wouldn't have it any other way. You know what? For for what it's worth, um, I'll I'll tell him something when we're we're in the tent to hopefully try and convince him. Uh, but yeah, we'll make our way to the tent. 
he doesn't like immediately get up and go there. So if you guys like make your way there, he's still just sitting comfortably resting. Right, he probably can't go right away because people might have overheard him talking about it as well. Could I hear this from afar? Um, yeah, Mara, you probably got close enough to uh, hear the conversation. I don't know, from like 60 feet. If not, feet we probably swing by and tell you. To, hey, come with us to this I tent. mean, perhaps <laughs> Leopold, like, you know. Ran in or something. Yeah. He's so small. Well, Leopold didn't have visibility sphere with us, right? So. Yeah. Maybe Leopold. Technically, relayed, so is Diana. You know, signals to you. Okay. Damn. That's that's I'll, something uh, that I'll go over to that 